Hey guys, Carl here. Welcome to the vlog. Today we're going to check out the Off-White store here at 8 Rockwell. We're going to check out some of the clothes, some of the new sneakers, and the accessories that they have so you guys get an idea of what you can expect to find here if ever you decide to drop by. So when it comes to the sneakers, most of you probably know them for their collaboration with Nike from the different Chicago's, the UNC's, the Air Force Ones. But they actually have a great selection of sneakers that are a bit loud, that are a bit different and unique. Uh, definitely for streetwear, but luxury streetwear that you can pick from. The one that's the most affordable with quotation marks is this one, which is called the Vulcanized. Vulcanized sneaker. So this one is in white and then you have the trademark uh, diagonal stripes on the midsole that Off-White is known for and of course the zip tie and you have a pop of color with the laces. This one has some sort of like vault green or yellow uh, that goes with the white upper and the diagonal stripe midsole. They also have like a black version which I did a review on. If you guys haven't seen that yet, I'll put the link down below. So this one you have the black canvas upper, you have off-white care of Virgil Abloh, you have the zip tie, the green laces, the diagonal stripes, and this one sells for 15,398 pesos. So it's not the most affordable sneaker that you can buy, but compared to most other luxury branded sneakers, it's actually already okay. Because if you go to other shops such as Louis Vuitton, Prada, uh, Dolce Gabbana, Ferragamo, most of the luxury sneakers there go for at least maybe around 30, 40. If you go Hugo Boss, it's around 20, 25. Uh, so this one, uh, at least you're still hype without looking too much tito. Diba? Pero okay na rin yung presyo. Now, one of my favorite sneakers that they have, it's a bit pricey, but it does look very different, but it's definitely inspired by the Jordan 1. Uh, this is the Off Court 3.0. I uh, actually have this in white and red as well as in black and in gum sole. So this one has some sort of like distressed blue uh, leather for the upper. You have some sort of like yellow or almost vault colored laces. Then you have that bright green for the tongue. And then you have the orange tags on the tongue tab as well as the toe box over here then you have that nice gray midsole to give you that overall contrast now there are different colors to this one uh, there's one he color we here that reminds me a lot of the Joker so this one if you take a look at it it has some sort of like bright purple so to those who watch the Joker and enjoyed it pwede na to diba lagyan lang ng mga ha 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 or something so this one I think sells for 45,000 pesos. So, medyo may kamahal niya fuente siya, friends. Pero pwede na rin. This one is a more distressed version. So, don't think that it's dirty <laughs> uh, and it's accidentally dirty. It's actually purposefully made to look this way, look distressed. So, you don't have to make it look dirty. No? That's how, I think that's how it works. By the way, this is the awesome manager of Off-White here in the Philippines, uh, Kaz. Oh, diba? <laughs> so, kung dapadaan kayo dito, look for him. Really cool guy. Okay, so again, this one is the Off-Court 3.0. So guys, next up, we have the 2.0 Off-White sneaker. Now, you're probably thinking, Carlo, why is it called 2.0 when it clearly says 1.0 on the outsole? Well, if you add 1.0, and 1.0, then it's 2.0. Apparently, that's how it actually is. <laughs> now, this one is also distressed. So, there's some sort of what looks like dirt. But it's actually part of the design. But what makes this really stand out, apart from the gray colorway with the contrast with the white, is the quality of the leather. So, it's actually so much more comfortable because I think there's some sort of like special process uh, that they made so that the calf leather would be a little bit more softer like this one. It actually feels good uh, to touch. And if you take a look at the back, there's this bright or bright silver that says this and that in trademark of white Virgil Abloh quotation marks. Now this one is a little bit pricier compared to the uh, what do you call that? The trainers or the Vulcan vulcanized sneakers that I showed you earlier. This one is selling for thirty-two thousand two hundred ninety-eight. So it is a little bit more pricey. But hey, if you this is your style, if the brand talks to you, and if you like streetwear so much that you're willing to spend this much, then. Yeah, go for it. No judging. Diba? Walang basaga ng trip. Okay, next up, we have what could be the craziest, most insane, and loudest sneaker from Off-White. Uh, this is the Off-White Odyssey. And quite possibly the most polarizing sneaker that they have to date. Polarizing because people, some people will probably hate it and some people will probably love it. Those who will love it will enjoy wearing it though because it is just so friggin' unique and different. And it doesn't conform to any tradition of what sneakers should be. I mean, it has spikes for crying out loud. And the logo is plastered over it. But man, take a look at all of the textures from the mesh to the leather to the nubuck or suede. And then that midsole material. It just looks really crazy. I even have some sort of plastic over here. 
And then, yeah, I mean, it, it's you're just at a loss for words <laughs> for how crazy this sneaker is. So this one is in blue with hits of red as well as some sort of like vault green for the laces. This one is more dominantly green, yellow laces with the pink off-white logo over here. So again, this is the Odyssey. This one sells for... So this one, like what Kaz say, said, is 47000 So you're probably thinking, Carlo, that's ridiculously expensive. Well, no no, no, no offense to our friends from Balenciaga, but the track trainers and the Triple S actually sell for a lot more, right? So a little over 60,000 pesos. So if you want something different and you just want to look, you know, like unique, I, I really don't think a lot of people will wear this. And that's both a good thing and a bad thing. It's a good thing because you'll be different if you wear it. It's a bad thing because you will just really stand out. So if you want to stand out, then panalo. The women's versions are actually nicer. <laughs> if you ask me, because they're more subtle. So this one is just almost all green. Uh, then you have those orange, like, I don't know what you call them, like flywire from Nike. I, I don't know how, what, what they call it for off-white. And then you have that pink off-white logo. This one is super clean. And I think this is so much more wearable in terms of like a daily basis kind of shoe. Uh, this one, of course, is an all pink one. And then you have, I don't know if they're like purple or blue, purple laces to go with it. And that pop of green at the heel. So if you are uh, a lady who loves streetwear or if you're a guy with small feet, uh, <laughs> this one definitely something that you may might want to consider. Now, let's say you're the type of person na sobrang makalimutin and you don't know what you're... <laughs> <laughs> what your items are so one of the styles actually of off-white i think is you state the obvious so this one for belongings mali lang yung spelling which is actually part of it right part of the design so don't think for a second that virgil ablo doesn't know how to spell okay so this one says for cards for money for money for passport so yeah it's a it's a nice design thing a design language and then you have other colors here in black and you have the keychain over there, a red and different permutation of, of the off-white logo. You have underwear over here. You have hats and caps. You have this nice bag. I think this is like the Manila version release for the first year anniversary, right? So they actually have like apparel that goes with this that you can even customize. And then you have like a belt bag, one of the latest releases, a face mask and more bags and more bags and more bags. So there are a ton of bags from off-white, both for men, and for women, Ate, kawaii ka naman dyan. You know, we're talking about apparel and apparently, apparently apparel, <laughs> they have a collaboration with Undercover, which is a Japanese label, streetwear label, if I'm not mistaken. And this is the set that they still have. So you have shirts over here and it's mostly featuring this apple and some sort of like skeleton. So this is like a clean white shirt uh, with that design. Uh, you have also this one with some sort of like zombie hand. So bagay siya pang new Halloween. Talaga hinanapan ng palusot para bilid, you know? So this one has that nice pop of yellow uh, actually at the back. You also have like different hoodies that you can pick from uh, that are reversible as well. So again, you take a look at the designs. This one is really cool. I love the the black and red with the skeleton here at the back. This one for me is one of the nicest one in the set. Uh, and take a look at that, uh, like, I don't know, like emo skeleton uh, with this back turned with the undercover off-white logo. And yeah, a bunch more colors that you guys can pick from. It's still sitting here over at the rack at off-white. Here is this fall, this their fall-winter line uh, from the recent fashion show. So it's apparently called Public Television, which is inspired by what you would see on the TV or if you're from Britain, the telly, uh, during the 90s and the 80s. So back then, if you watch reporters, they actually had really padded uh, coats and this is what you actually see here but of course you have the off-white twist to it which is kind of deconstructed it's kind of made but it's not made uh, this is like a sign of it's not yet finished you have the exposed stitching but this one is really clean like a really nice some sort of like you know a typical tailored suit so kung gusto nyo mag doble kara show di pwede na di ba? and then you also have like this nice yellow new logo of off-white for the sweater you have another suit over here more shirts a black version and more stuff this one actually says public television on air at the front and yeah you just have a nice selection of different apparel and this one is actually a special shirt for all of you filipinos watching here in the philippines this is the official off-white first year anniversary manila shirt so i'm not sure if it's supposed to be inspired by a jeep is it inspired by a jeep oh yeah so it's inspired by a jeep the font the colors and you can actually get this personalized on the same day so if you buy this one 
Uh, you can actually put your name here, some sort of like the nameplate of a jeepney. But you can put your whole name, right? And then you have it also in a different color over here in gray, easier to wear. You have it here with shorts and you have it also with hoodies, both in white and in gray. So again, please take note guys that these aren't really super affordable stuff. So it's for people who really want to buy it, who have the budget. But don't feel that, you know, you won't ever get to buy something like this. If you can't afford it now, eventually if you work hard and you really like it, then you can buy it when you have the money. So don't force it if you don't have the cash. Uh, do it when you can actually afford it well. Yung di ka mangungutang, di ba? Yung kaya kaya. The most expensive sako ever made. So this is 16,000 pesos. Uh, it is in that bright off-white yellow. You have the industrial belt for the strap. And then you have the diagonal like symbol here. It sells for 16,000 pesos. Uh, if you are a hype mom, you know, and you want to go to the grocery, and you want to hype beast your groceries, then this is like the way to go. But hey, a tote can be very useful, not just for groceries. So don't think for a second that it's a sack, that it's just meant for vegetables. Now here, I have something that I really want to buy for my wife. Now usually a lot of people uh, who go to Off-White just know it for the sneakers, the collaboration with Nike. But again, their apparel is really awesome. If you are into luxury streetwear, not luxury Tito Tita looks, this is the place to go. So for example, this is a really nice uh, denim jacket that I've been thinking of buying for the wife. Uh, she's just not here, so I can't have her fit it. Apparently, it's the only piece that arrived in Manila. Oh. So, lo, di ba? Unique bagay para sa misis. Kung may pera ka, para feeling special siya. One of one in the Philippines, no? And you have that, all, ano ba to? Rusted look? What do you call it? Um, gradient. So, some sort of like gradient. It just looks really different. And very, you know, parang pinahiran ng Cheetos. So, di ba? Parang gano'n. <laughs> <laughs> so this having any Christian. So that one I think sells for almost 50,000 pesos. So again, uh, it's not the most affordable, but hey, that's what luxury is all about. Post muna kay sa pagbabash diyan, okay? Kung it's not for everyone. I'm not saying that all of you should buy it, okay? For those who want it and for those who love it, then go. They also have like really clean, nice hoodies for the ladies. So, or if you are small uh, and a guy, this can actually fit you. Uh, so this one is in a clean black. And then you have the logo here at the back. There is like some sort of green or I don't know, green? Is it green? Some sort of like light green. And then you have the logo again. And this one, some sort of like beige or off-white or cream. This one looks really nice. So yeah, if they had like a male version of this, this would look really, really good. And they also have like more stuff from like denim jackets, shirts. Oh man, you just have a great selection for the ladies. This one is also really nice. So I think this is something that my wife has been eyeing. So maybe we'll buy it. Maybe we won't. Maybe I have budget. And yeah. Oh, di ba? May sapatos pa pong babae. Together with the zip tie to be able to close the shoe. So this one just looks really nice. Di ba? Very off-white-ish. So guys, that's actually it for the shopping part of the vlog. At this point, I'll be going home and I'll be sharing with you an unboxing or unpacking or unplasticking, if there's such a word, uh, the stuff that I was able to buy from Off-White Manila. So uh, shout out again to the awesome staff that we have here. Oh, you know, yan sila lahat. So hanapin yung mga friendly faces na yan. They're really helpful, really nice people. So make sure that you guys drop by here at Off-White Manila if you are into luxury streetwear. Again, if you are into. Get you neon. Boom. Hey guys, so we're back here at the condo, but before I show you our loot, the stuff that we were able to buy, one of the best ways for you to be able to level up your style, be it streetwear, casual look, or some sort of like smart casual wear, is to wear accessories. And that's actually where the sponsor of today's video comes in. Of course, I'm talking about Rose Gold and Black. Rose Gold and Black is an amazing brand that comes out of Australia. They focus mostly on men's accessories. You have beaded bracelets, you have rings, you have necklaces, you, ha you have a variety of amazing stuff that you can get from them. Now, the great news for all of you is that I was able to get you guys with a, with a great discount. All you have to do is to click the link down below in the description box and you get 25% off on any item that you want to get from them. So be it beaded bracelets like this, the one which is my current favorite, to necklaces which have one winged angel theme, to access and to a bunch of other cool stuff, check them out. 25% off courtesy of me. Guys, support the brand that support the channel because it allows me to keep making content for you. So I did end up buying two items. The first one is something that I think you guys have seen me wear 
uh, in several videos in the past, including the Beyond the Culture video, which I posted a few weekdays back. Uh, this is an off-white hoodie uh, with a really nice yellow, some sort of like acetate, uh, what do you call this diagonal logo here at the back. And if you take a look at the front, it's a plain black hoodie, which makes it even easier to wear. But it does have like shoelaces in some sort of gradient blue-orange that come from the top of the hood. And it even says here, in typical off-white fashion, shoelaces. So this one is my fa currently my favorite hoodie. I've been wearing it a lot. If you guys saw me on Instagram, I've been posting pictures with it. And I just really, really like this hoodie. And it's actually hoodie weather already in the Philippines, which is nice. And apart from that, I am going to Japan, so I am looking forward to wearing that. Uh, I actually have made plans to go to SneakerCon Osaka. So to those who are going to SneakerCon Osaka on November 22, 23, let me know down below in the comment section. Maybe we could do a 7 to 1 squad meetup in Japan. Now, apart from that, I also went out and bought a denim jacket. Ooh. <laughs> and this one is again from Off-White. Uh, I was happy for this because it was actually uh, on sale. So it is like an off-season item already. So I was able to get it at 30% off. Now, the great thing about this denim jacket is that it doesn't scream Off-White. So it doesn't have like a giant diagonal logo at the back. It's literally just a normal denim jacket great quality great worksmanship and the off-white about it is that there is a metal plate here that says off-white at the front and if you take a look at the back there is that Virgil Abloh off-white tag uh, and E E means exaggerated uh, this tag is usually very small but for this jacket it's actually pretty big that's why it's called E exaggerated so this one again was on just was on 30% off which made it a great deal uh, to cop and to buy so never expected that I would end up buying like a denim jacket from Off-White but anyway those are the items that I ended up buying uh, so yeah again if you are going to Osaka if you are going to Japan for sneaker con let me know and lastly don't forget to subscribe to the channel follow me on Instagram join our Facebook community we are about to draw the winner to the giveaway I think of the Yeezy 700 inertia and I will be announcing more giveaways in the days to come again the basic requirement to join is that you need to be subscribed to the channel so don't miss out join the community be part of the raffle draw guys that's it for now as usual as always peace god bless what's up my love to all of you boom